Hello friends, I already have discussed about some basics of semiconductor physics. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about three widely used semiconductors, silicon, germanium and gallium arsenate. Silicon and germanium have a diamond cubic crystal structure. Diamond cubic crystal structure can be imagined as a cube with an atom at each corner and each face center like in a face centered cubic crystal. In addition to that, four out of the eight tetrahedral voids are occupied by an atom. Each atom is tetrahedrally coordinated. This is the unit cell. This is the atomic coordination and this is the top view of the unit cell. Gallium arsenide has zinc blend structure. The crystal structure can be imagined as a cube with an atom at each corner and each face center, like in a face centered cubic crystal. In addition to that, four out of the eight tetrahedral voids are occupied. If you put gallium atom at the corners and face centers of the cube, then you have to put arsenic atom at the tetrahedral voids. This is the unit cell. This is the atomic coordination. And this is the top view of the unit cell. Crystal structure related data and band gap of silicon, germanium and gallium arsenide are reported in this table. This is the first preloading zone and I have shown two high symmetry points X point and L point shown by the black and red dots. There are six X points and eight L points. In case of silicon, valence band maximum or VBM is located at the gamma point and conduction band minimum or CBM is located close to the X value. In case of germanium, VBM is located at the gamma valley and CBM is located at the L valley. In case of gallium arsenide, both VBM and CBM are located at the gamma valley, where gamma is the center of the preloading zone. The valence band of silicon, germanium and gallium arsenide splits because of spin orbit coupling. Spin orbit coupling is a relativistic effect that splits the electronic bands in many materials. Since I did not discuss about spin orbit coupling, I shall only mention about it without going into detail. Without spin orbit coupling, there are degenerate valence bands. Due to spin orbit coupling, degeneracy is partly lifted as the bands split. The top band splits into two bands known as the heavy hole band and light hole band. The third band is now separated from the heavy and light hole band at the gamma point by an energy delta. Delta is approximately between 50 and 
500 milli electron volt in different semiconductors. This band is known as the split off hole band. Let me discuss about some general features of band structure of direct gap materials like gallium arsenide. For semiconductor like gallium arsenide, the conduction bandage is at the gamma valley. That is the center of the brillouin zone. The conduction bandage is spherical with effective mass M e star such that we can write the energy dispersion relation as E c where c stands for conduction band is equals to capital E c plus h cross square k square divided by 2 m e star. Capital E c is the conduction band minimum. There are three valence bands at the gamma valley. Heavy hole band, light hole band and split off hole band. The heavy hole and light hole bands are degenerate at the gamma point. And we can write the energy dispersion as E V, where V stands for the valence band, H H, which stands for heavy hole, is equals to capital E V minus H cross square K square divided by 2 M star H H. And similarly for the light hole, we have E V L H is equals to capital E V minus H cross square K square divided by 2 M star light hole. In these equations, E V is valence band maximum. This is the spin orbit splitting delta. And the energy dispersion for the split off hole band is given by Ev split off hole is equals to capital Ev minus h cross square k square divided by 2 m star split of hole minus delta. Since the hole bands are not spherical, equations for hole bands are only some approximation. This is going to be discussed again when we discuss hole bands of silicon and germanium. Values of band gap, electron effective mass, heavy hole effective mass, light hole effective mass, spin orbit hole effective mass and spin orbit splitting delta have been given in this table for different direct gap materials. From the table, we observe an interesting fact. A crystal having lower band gap has lower electron effective mass. For example, INSB has the smallest band gap of 0 0.17 electron volt. And it also has the smallest effective mass of electron 
equal to 0 0.02. Then gap increases in INAS to 0 0.36 electron volt. And electron effective mass also increases to 0 0.03. Finally, band gap increases to 1.27 electron volt in case of INP, which also has the highest electron effective mass of 0 0.07 in the indium series. Now, let me discuss about balance bandage of silicon, germanium, and gallium arsenide. Valence band edges in silicon, germanium, and gallium arsenide are not very simple. Holes at the valence band edge are characterized by two effective masses heavy hole and light hole. There is another band split off due to the spin orbit interaction and this is known as the split off hole band. Constant energy surfaces are not spherical but given by Ek is equals to Ev which is the valence band maximum minus a k square b square times k to the power 4 plus c square times k x square k y square plus k y square k z square plus k z square k x square whole to the power half. So, this is the energy dispersion for a v whole and light hole band. The choice of sign distinguishes between two masses. The energy dispersion relation for the split off band can be written as E k is equals to E v minus delta minus A k square. Values of A, B, C and delta are reported in this table for silicon, germanium and gallium arsenide. Now, let us discuss about the conduction bandage of silicon, germanium and gallium arsenide. In case of silicon, CBM is located near the X value. Now, there are six X points in the first flowing zone and thus there are six constant energy ellipsoids in case of silicon. In case of germanium, CBM is located at the L value. There are eight L points in the first preloading zone and thus there are eight constant energy ellipsoids in case of germanium. In case of gallium arsenide, CBM is located at the gamma value. And the constant energy surface is spherical. In case of silicon, and germanium equation of the constant energy ellipsoid is ek 
is equals to ec which is the conduction band minimum plus a k1 square plus b k2 square plus k3 square note that we need two constants a and b because we have to fit an ellipsoid in case of gallium arsenide the constant energy surface is ek is equals to ec plus a k1 square plus k2 square plus k3 square in this case we need only one constant a because the constant energy surface is a sphere we know the equation of constant energy ellipsoid in k space now let us calculate the effective mass effective mass is defined as one by h cross square del to e del k i del k j now let us calculate this term one by m one one star this is equal to one by h cross square L to E, L K one square, which is equal to two A by H cross squares. That means A is equals to H bar square divided by two M L star. So I just write M one one as M L. Now, let me calculate one by M two two star. This is equal to one by h bar square del two e del k two square, which is equal to. Two b by h bar square, which implies that b is equal to h bar square divided by I write m two two as m t. Similarly, one. By m three three star is equals to one by h bar square del t del k three square, which is equal to two b by h bar square, and that implies that b equal to h bar square divided by Two m t star. Note that m two two is equal to m three three, and I write both of them as m t. Now let us calculate this term. One by m one two. This is equal to one by h bar square which is equal to 1 by h bar square which is equal to 0 thus we can 
conclude that all the terms one by m i j is equals to zero for i not equal to j. Equation of the constant energy ellipsoid now can be written in terms of effective mass and E k is equals to E c where E c is the conduction band minimum plus h cross square k1 square divided by 2 ml star this is this term plus in place of b we have h cross square by 2 mt star k2 square plus k3 square. Note that ml star is the major axis and mt star is the minor axis of the ellipsoid. Thus, ml star is greater than mt star. Value for effective mass in L for longitudinal and T for transverse direction for silicon and germanium are reported in this table. Note that the anisotropy of effective mass in case of germanium is much higher than the anisotropy of effective mass in case of silicon. In case of gallium arsenide, effective mass in all the directions are equal as the constant energy surface is spherical. Thus, 1 by m11 star is equals to 1 by m22 star is equals to 1 by m33 star is equals to 2a by h cross square and I just write it as 1 by m star and the equation of constant energy surface is E k is equals to E c where E c is the conduction band minimum plus h cross square by 2 m star k1 square plus k2 square plus k3 square. This is the summary of what we discussed about band edges of silicon, germanium and gallium arsenide. The valence band edges are not simple. We have one heavy hole band and one light hole band degenerate at the gamma point. The constant energy surfaces corresponding to heavy and light hole band are not spherical and given by this expression. The choice of sign distinguishes the heavy and light hole effective mass. There is another band split off from the heavy and light hole band at the gamma point due to the spin orbit coupling. This is known as the split off hole band. The constant energy surface is 
given by this expression. Relevant parameters are given in this table. Constant energy surfaces for electrons in silicon and germanium are ellipsoids given by this expression. There are six ellipsoids for silicon near six x values. And there are eight ellipsoids for germanium near the eight L values. M L star is the longitudinal effective mass, which is greater than the transverse effective mass M T star. In case of gallium arsenide, constant energy surface is spherical given by this expression and effective mass m star is isotropic. Electron effective masses are reported in this table.